window and this door looks pretty normal but it ain't normal at all it's a creepy doll is it a doll from hell annabelle what do we name it hmm i think we shall search for a name for these creepy dolls that we shall be seeing and it's like we shall be seeing more of them if you find a good name for the dolls that we shall be seeing in these videos you can comment in the comment section we shall decide which is the best name man the one that looks more creepy or sounds creepier because these dolls are up to something these days who manufactures them in no i'd like to know i think it's a time may also start making dolls because it seems people have a problem with creepy dolls man will be fine because you know in africa where we have extreme extraordinary powers and when we make dolls especially here nothing abnormal can possess the doll because this dolls it's like they are possessed or what what do you think man because this is crazy You see this doll is just sleeping there normally it ain't normal right which and seal to the end it should you see they started going below and say the black oh, this is a crazy doll one of those crazy ones oh my god where did this doll come from oh my what is it doing down there maybe it's want to tickle the baby or this is crazy oh my i'm i'm scared i can't imagine if i had bought such a doll oh my god No wonder I don't like dolls, man, because this is crazy. I have had some fears of dolls that could do crazy stuff, especially after watching scary movies and what? I didn't believe they could be true. And this guy is testing the doll with his baby. What do you do this? Don't you ever go and maybe test the doll with some utensils? Put, them, put it near utensils? No, I mixed it with some utensils. Put them, put it near your tents. It's near your next thing. What? Yo, um, hey. Mexico just stepped up the disclosure game by bringing literal alien bodies to their Congress UAP hearing. This is next level. Mexico had its UAP hearing, and after hearing testimony from experts from Mexico, Japan, Brazil, Argentina, as well as American scientists and military, Peruvian researcher and journalist Yoy Mantilla brought out bodies that resemble what we recognize as a typical extraterrestrial. The bodies were allegedly found in an archaeological dig in Peru, near Nazca. Scientific studies have been done on these creatures, and x-rays of them were also broadcasted at the hearing. Whatever these beings are, they were clearly alive and non-human. The bodies are allegedly dated to be 1,000 years old and were not found with any spacecraft. They were found buried in diatomaceous earth, which can dry bodies and stop bacteria from growing on them, which is why the bodies are so well preserved. Was this done on purpose? Everything in the hearing was under oath. Do we finally have the answer to? Are they really here? The old photograph features the TikToker's mother and aunt as children holding a collection of dolls. However, it wasn't long until the family noticed a chilling detail in the snapshot. Amidst the smiling dolls, one doll, a Cabbage Patch Kid, seemed to sport a frown, its eyes filled with sorrow. This detail sparked immediate intrigue. As per the OP's research, all Cabbage Patch dolls available online were found to have joyful expressions, their faces beaming with happiness, a stark contrast to the melancholic doll in the photo. Hey Mills. What? Did you know that there's a tree that starts its life growing at the top of another tree and then eventually grows down and strangles and kills that host tree? Really? It's called the strangler fig tree and there's many species of the strangler fig. Basically, they start their life as a seed at the top of a tree when a bird or a bat or a monkey leaves it there. This seed starts to germinate and create roots that head down towards the soil. These roots spread out all the way, they wrap around this tree on their way down to the down to the soil. And once they get to the soil, they start collecting nutrients from the soil, get bigger, grow faster, get thicker, and they surround and strangle and engulf that host tree. That sounds so weird. It's so cool. These trees look amazing. It's like this lattice of roots and trunks wrapping around a host tree. And eventually that host tree dies because the fig tree starts to take the nutrients out of the soil at a faster rate than the host tree can. And 
the fig tree's canopy, its leaves, cover the host tree's canopy and stop it from getting sunlight so it can't photosynthesize. And eventually, the host tree just dies, decays, rots away. Sometimes, you can even find these fig trees with the host tree completely rotted away and gone, and it's just this hollow, lattice-looking, incredible-looking tree. I think these trees are so cool because they start their life as an epiphyte, which is an air plant. These things can grow on anything, which means that we found fig trees growing on old structures. You can have fig trees growing over top of houses or buildings. Anyways, I think figs are so cool. I hope you do too. And stay curious, everybody. Bye. Well, this is so cool, man. You know what's so cool about these fig trees? Even here in Africa, some past, some time ago, they used to be classified as sacred trees. And some people would go near those trees and pray, rainmakers, and it would rain. This is very amazing. You can't know the power and the miracles in trees. So let's keep checking these videos out. Definitely neat. And you can see this dog that is climbing a tree. Well, this is a very, very peculiar dog, like a skinwalker type of dog. Oh my God. Is it normal for a dog to climb a tree? How? How is this possible? I'm even surprised. I didn't know dogs could do this. This is scary, man. Oh my God. This is how you can have an out-of-body experience and even astral travel, if that's what you want. And while there are many ways of doing this, I'm going to show you uh, one of them that I particularly like. And depending on the video, I might even do another video on a another technique as well. So, step one. Uh, just before you go to sleep, find a comfortable position in your bed, okay? Uh, you can do this even on the couch, actually. And what I want you to do is dim the light, okay? And find the spot, either in the ceiling or across from you uh, on the wall. Uh, if there's no particular spot, make a little spot, okay? Whatever works for you. Keep staring at the spot. Keep staring, staring, staring until your body is almost, you know, you're drowsy enough and your body's falling asleep. At some point, without moving at all, and this is key, you cannot move your body because if you do, this is not going to work, okay? At some point, as you are staring at the spot, try to reach for it, okay? When I say try to reach for it, I mean just, not physically, just try like you're moving towards it, to reach for it. Make, uh, if this doesn't work the first time, it might uh, take you a few times to practice this and do it, right? But next thing you know, you're gonna be at that spot looking at your body, okay? From here, do not panic. Don't freak out, okay? From here, just put the intention and you can travel anywhere you want, whether it is uh, in this physical realm or somewhere else, it doesn't matter. But the key is do not panic and don't be afraid. afraid. Okay, uh, fear will hold you back. Now, having said this, no matter what you do, be the greatest you. Leave me some comments, try it out, and let me know how this plays out for you. Love, bye for now. Yeah, it sounds interesting and like something you can try out. If you try or if you feel like trying, you can try and tell us if what if you had an experience or what happened. I'll also try it sometime. It sounds it wouldn't hurt anyway. Let's keep watching. on soggy straws well some belgian researchers who are clearly on our side have investigated 39 brands of these paper straws that everyone's sucking on trying to save the planet and they've tested positive for what they call a group of synthetic chemicals known as pfas they're long lasting and potentially toxic chemicals so not only are they bad for people they're worse for the environment these scientists say what on earth have we been suffering Suffering for you can't get to the bottom of a cup full of no. water. Does this mean we get plastic things. stores back? I know, please, please. please. But this PFA please. stuff is what's in the firefighting foam that the government is now paying out millions of dollars to people Madness. because it leached yeah. into their soil. Toxic or, chemicals. You know I don't care if it kills a few turtles. I want the plastic straws back. Here, here. Here's a couple.
couple things that would have been real nice to know before I was old as fuck. If you mix white vinegar and coconut oil together, put it on a rag, you can wipe away surface level paint scratches off your car like... Well, does it really work? Hmm. It seems really easy to be working. I doubt. But, you know, do we really believe our eyes? Let's keep watching. But you can say what you think about it. A bombshell hearing occurred in Mexico regarding the disclosure of information about aliens and UAPs. At the hearing, it was revealed the Mexican government is in possession of an alien body, providing photo evidence of the mummified remains. Under oath, we heard that the Mexican government spent millions of dollars on DNA testing and found that the remains contained about 35% DNA that is not shared with anything on this earth. They also performed MRI scans and found the following details. They have bird-like bones retractable necks, three fingers, contained metal implants. They're only 60 centimeters tall. And one of the bodies even contained three eggs. Based on these mummies, which were originally discovered in Peru, it appears that we may have been sharing the planet with these aliens for thousands of years. Stay tuned, because on September 14th, NASA will be releasing its report on UAPs. And just around the corner, we can expect a Steven Spielberg produced documentary on the subject coming to Netflix on September 26th. Well, this is just crazy. Did you see those creatures? Were they the ones that were traveling using that spaceship that we saw in our maybe previous episode? The one, the small spaceship. Could those people fit in? Well, let's keep watching. This is crazy. What is this now? Oh. Oh, this looks ancient, ancient technology. What is this? Is this like the first watch in history or a compass direction? I'd like to know if anyone has an idea of what this is. Please, please comment. What is this? Is this an artifact of the past or some movie crop prop? You know, these days there is a lot of things that we see here that leave you with questions in the mind because now what is this thing do you guys know oh guys to those people that do a lot of research and know crazy kind of stuff like the ones we see here please help us to know what is this is because i myself do not know in my whole life i have never ever seen anything like this or thought there could ever exist anything that looks like this what is its work? Oh, I would like to know. Does it weigh something? Is it like a weighing machine? Or what is this? Oh, a time traveling machine? Let's talk about Schrodinger's cat. This guy imagined an experiment. The famous Schrodinger's cat experiment. It goes something like this. Take a cart, take a steel box, take an explosive, which has 50-50 chance of exploding. Place the cart and the explosive in the steel box and close it. Wait for some time. Question, is the cat dead or alive? Answer, both. The cat is both alive and dead. If the explosion occurred, the cat is definitely 
dead. If not, the cat is definitely alive. We have no way of telling whether the cat is dead or alive until we open the box. Therefore, our deliberate choice to open the box to observe will make reality collapse into one definite outcome. Either we will open the box to find a living cat or we will open the box to find a dead cat. It depends on us, not really on the cat. But why us? That's the question. Why us? These are Schrodinger's plates. They are both broken and not broken until you open the cabinet to confirm. At that point, they will either fall down and break or they will not fall down and they will not break. Therefore, the state of the plates depends on your choice to open the cabinet. But why does nature's reality have to depend on the deliberate choice of the observer? If there were no conscious observer, would reality exist in a kind of a superstitious reality? And this is Schrodinger's dustpin empty when full. The dustbin is both empty and full at the same time. Or is it? This is actually a meme. It means you empty the bin when it's full of trash. That's a physics joke. Albert Einstein once asked, does that mean that the moon is not there when I'm not looking? I'm like Albert Einstein. I'm inside my room right now. I don't know if there is a moon in the sky, but I have to look. And if I look, then I'll find a moon or I find no moon. But why does the reality of being a moon there and not being a moon there have to depend with me, the observer? Why does the observer have to determine the outcome? Albert Einstein answered this question and said, I believe there is a moon whether I am there to look or whether I'm not. My presence as an observer has nothing to do with the moon existing. And this is one of the biggest unanswered questions in physics, quantum theory. Does reality have to depend on the observer? We are somewhat like a Schrodinger's cat. We behave differently when we are aware that another person is looking at us. The the choice to observe us determines what they see, and that's the beauty of science. Wow, science is beautiful indeed. But why would that guy standing or that guy? Why would he use a cat in those experiments? He would just make a robot and use it instead. A living creature, oh my god. You guys live well with the animals, love animals. And also share love from wherever you are. This videos, man. Tell me what you hear the sentence as being. Okay. That is embarrassing. 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 That's what I got too. So, are you sure you don't hear rotating pirate ships? That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Or. Do you hear, <laughs> that isn't my receipt? This is the power of suggestion. Just maybe you're hearing Bart Simpson bouncing. And then, <laughs> and then the la, the, the, la, the, la, the <laughs> lobsters in motion. Surely not. <laughs> That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Man, that? Just That's... out of a casual chat's <laughs> chant, eh? Yo, what was you hearing? I was hearing completely different things from those that they were saying when the video was beginning. Then if you so died, I say, well, what was they saying? That was very embarrassing, man. Thanks for watching up to this part. You are definitely.